Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So on today's tutorial, we are going to have a look at the Cinnamon menu on Linux Mint 18. I want to just show you some of the quick basic programs that are available and how you can add programs to the system, remove programs from the system, and how you can hide things from the menu that you'd rather not uninstall, but you don't want to appear on your menu every time. So the first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is look to the bottom right with our shield we actually have a little arrow over here rather than a green check mark. This means that there's an update available. So clicking on this is going to load up the uh, the system. Again here's those kernel updates we never updated. So here's uh, something in the uh, something in the file roller here. Well, let's go ahead and update, update that. It's, it's less than a megabyte so this should not take me long at all. Let's do that. Again, anytime that you are doing any of these adjustments with, uh, with the packages and whatever, you are going to have to enter your password. We are going to do that a few times today as we, uh, as we make some adjustments to our system. And we should pretty much be done. There we are. We'll close the update manager. Now our see our green check is back, back installed. So what we're going to do here, have a quick look at the menu, click the menu item here, and then you can see the, uh, the programs are referred to as packages on a Linux computer. And your packages are sorted by different uh, preset groups and topics. So we have the accessories, we have the administration, we have the preferences. Uh, the graphics are going to be your image type programs, internet are the you know, the web-based things. In this case, we have the Firefox, we have the Thunderbird, some chat programs, we have a BitTorrent client. Here's our office suite of programs, sound and video suite of programs. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to uh, make some adjustments. Uh, first, this menu over here on the far right, or excuse me, on the far left, will give you some, some quick hot programs if you would like to add something. So if you find yourself frequently using one particular program, maybe you write a lot of Office documents, you can simply grab them from your system here and just drag them wherever you'd like, as long as it's above the three system icons here. So anything above this, this divider market, you can organize these guys in that manner. You can, uh, just as frequently, if you don't use one program on those much you can just pull it off just like that. Just grab it with the left mouse button and drag it over. So that's how you can just add and remove items to it. So if you want to uninstall any particular programs, you can do that from this menu. You can also do it from the software manager, which is the one right under the word, uh, the word typewriter that we just put on. But you can also do it in Cinnamon directly from the menu. So in my case, I never use BitTorrents. I think I've used BitTorrents maybe two times ever. If I have a need of that, I use Opera, which I have installed on my, uh, on my main production computers. So you right click any program here. We can add it to the panel, which again puts it down here at the bottom. You can add it to the desktop to give yourself a desktop icon. You can add it to your favorites. Uh, which I've never actually done that. I'm going to click favorites. Oh, okay. Your favorites is the sidebar. Eh, that makes sense. And you can, the last option there is you can uninstall. So we're going to hit uninstall. It's going to prompt us for our password. Hit in your password, hit the enter key, and then it's going to give you the, the item here, package to be removed, the transmission, hit okay. And then this is going to start up our installer and we are going to, at this point in time, remove the package. So this will tell us when we are done. So the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to keep a program on the, on the computer, but you might want to hide it. So in this case, um, this computer that I'm running on does not have a CD drive. And so there's no real need to have Brasario on here uh, because it is a CD burner. However, I can actually hook up a network drive to this computer and I can bridge off of a network drive uh, off of a CD-ROM on a different computer. So I don't necessarily want to take the program off. I might just want to hide it. So if I encounter that type of situation, what we want to do is we want to edit the menu. So come down to the menu here and right click it and then hit the configure button. And your configure button will allow you to make some adjustments to the menu. So uh, we can use... Um, 
uh, and I don't know what every one of these items over here does. Um, I've just never taken the time to go through and mess with it because I actually really like the menu. Uh, this guy here, you can actually change the icon of the menu. If you do want to make a, put a different icon over here, you can do that. Uh, you can show the category icons or not. So here you can see by that what that does, it removes the icons from over on the left of the menu there. I'm going to go ahead and turn those back on because I actually like those. Uh, the show the application icon will do the same thing inside of your icon list, your uh, application list over here. Again, I like that. Show favorites and quit options. So that is going to be your bar over here. If you find that bar annoying and you don't use it, you can just toggle it off. And you'll see that it, uh, the space is still there, but the uh, bar is gone. Then we have bookmarks and places. We have auto scrolling. We can also enable the file system path entry and we can open the menu when you move the mouse over it. That would actually drive me crazy. Any of these types of put the mouse in some location, it does something. I actually don't like that because I just find in the course of development, my mouse goes all over the place. Now to adjust the menus, uh, we want to hit the open the menu editor button here. And this is going to allow you to show and to hide items. So what this is here, hitting the all application, checking or unchecking this button over here is going to show or hide the item in your menu here. So if you want to adjust the individual items, click on that individual section there, and you can see that there are several different programs here. I don't generally use help files on this. If I do need help with something, I just use the internet. So I'm gonna uncheck the help button there. And I'm just gonna see if there's anything else. Uh, I don't use on-screen readers, so I'll turn that off. So anything on here, you can, uh, you can go and do. Everything else on here, I, I do have uses for. Uh, we have no games, so graphics. There's nothing in the graphics I'd want to mess with. Um, here, um, I don't use chat systems, but I'm not going to totally get rid of them, so I'm going to do that. And I'm looking to see the um, BitTorrent client should not still be there. Um, it's probably it's probably in the list because it was it was originally in there by by default. So I'm just going to uncheck that. So over here, um, I will not use the math for formula editors, and I generally don't use databases. And this first LibreOffice is actually just a, a quick launcher that launches any type of the programs available. I don't use that. I just like going right to the one of the four programs that I, well, three programs I generally use, the spreadsheet, the presentation, or the writer application. Okay, sound and video, everything, okay, the Brasario we said we wanted to get rid of there. Um, actually, universal access, I'm just going to close that. I don't use universal access items. And then you can adjust your preferences and your administrations. So hit the close button here, and we're going to close it up here. And then now I can come on here and I can have a look at my internet, and I see that my uh, my chat programs are gone under office. I can see I'm just left with the main document viewer, just a very nice viewer for quick doing quick PDF views and things like that. And I just have my three major programs there. Here I just have my Banshee videos and VLC. So that's how to remove uh, programs and hide applications from the menu itself. All right, so we're going to come over to the software manager and we're going to use this to show you how to add programs. So anytime you're using the software packages, you want to enter in your password and then just give it a moment and that's going to uh, boot up and it just gives you a nice, uh, a nice icon based store system, uh, storefront looking system so you can have a look at the programs that you would like. So there's some things that uh, I know I would like to install. So uh, as I had mentioned uh, in a previous video, um, Banshee is the program that comes pre-installed on, uh, on the um, uh, Linux Mint system, which is actually my preferred sound and video device. But a lot of people use web accounts or do podcast subscriptions. And in that instance, Rhythmbox is a lot easier system to use. So you can actually just go right into sound and video here, or if you know the name of the specific program you'd like, you can just go ahead and, and add it. So in this case, say if you do any editing with audio files, you can hit Audacity, double click on it, 
And then this is going to bring you up the program features, tells you a little bit about it. You can hit the install button over here and then that will install your program. You'll see the ongoing action bar down at the bottom as it uh, installs the program. And then we can actually continue to search as, as things are going. All right, so the next thing, um, I'd like to install Rhythmbox. So as I had said, if you know the title of the things that, that you would like to install, you can come over here and you can just type in the search bar up top and hit the enter key. And then you can see the search functions will go up at the top. So if you're online, you see some, some specific uh, program that, uh, that you'd like to uh, install online, you can just come right into your box here do the quick search for it and uh, and go ahead and click the buttons. So here we're installing the rhythm box. And that's how simple it is to actually install programs. So under our view, we can actually show installed programs. So if you want to go ahead and look at uh, look at everything else and uh, just hit the view button there under installed it shows you just the programs that are installed or you can come over into the view and you can disable what is available what is um, installed and show only the available and then it will only give you lists that uh, that are uh, that are available but not installed um, I use FileZilla as a web developer so I want to install that on any production system I'm on and then let's see, I might use Skype, but I'm not going to install that here. Um, Inkscape is a very nice program uh, for doing vector drawing. Uh, 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 it's like an open source type version of Illustrator. Uh, Stellarium, if you uh, like the stars and the constellations, uh, Stellarium is a very nice program for uh, viewing the constellations. Blender is a open source uh, competitor version of 3ds Max if you're doing any 3D modeling. And the intro clip on my video is actually built entirely in Blender. So there's a, a lot of different packages that are available. Uh, one actually, one uh, package I'd like to install and highlight is Evolution. So Evolution is an email program that is very much like the old school email applications like the old school Outlook or Outlook Express where you can put in all the email addresses and everything sorted into one inbox and then you can put in filters and such to sort your emails. That's my preferred way because in, in the course of running my business I have a lot of different emails coming from a lot of different places and I just do not have the time to sort them to which account did they come from. I don't care. I care that they are sorted in a logical way in my program itself, not by accounts. So Evolution allows you to do that function just like the old school Outlook. If you do want that more modern UI, uh, which everything is organized by the accounts, um, there is a place for that and I use that type of system, then you want to use the Thunderbird, which is pre-installed on Linux Mint already. So there you have uh, new programs. Let me just go into the menu and I'll show you where those are at. So the internet, uh, we added FileZilla for the internet and Office adds Evolution. Now if I think Evolution should be under internet because you know that's where Thunderbird is, I can actually come over here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we wanna come down to the menu item here. We wanna right click on it. We wanna hit the configure button. And then what we're actually going to do is open up the menu editor and there's an option where you can copy and you can paste a an item. So under here at office, in reality, under each menu item, you can create a new item. In this case, what we will do is we'll find under office, we'll find evolution, copy it. You want to hit the, actually, we're going to cut it out instead of copy it. And then we'll go under internet where we would like this to show up and we're going to paste it. And I'm going to check on something here. I have uninstalled that transmission BitTorrent two times now. <laughs> Did one off camera here. It is not going away. I have no idea why. I'm just going to hide it at this point in time and I'm going to look that up at a later date. 
So there, now when we've closed that, now we come under your internet. Now we see evolution under the internet. We do not see evolution under the office. So the other thing I did not do inside the software manager, I did not add a program from a new category. So let's go ahead and do that. Anytime you add a program to a new category, the new category will just show up. So I'm going to install the Bluefish editor, which is my preferred HTML editor for the Linux system. So when we get this launched up, we're just going to do the search for Blue editor, install it. Find the Bluefish here, double click on that, hit the install button, and now we'll have an installation going on down here. And then once that's complete, then we will be able to see another menu item with the uh, Bluefish editor installed. Okay, so that is done. Close that. And over here, now we have our programming. And then here you have your Bluefish editor. So that's in a nutshell how to manage your menu programs, add programs, hide programs, remove programs. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.